Okay, so today I'm reviewing the Trader Joe's Supreme Hydrating Eye Cream. It looks like this. It came in this box. Um, first, I like the packaging. It's cute. It's simple. It has like little waves and paper boats on it. Uh, it says in the front it has plant extracts, collagen, and coenzyme Q10. So the ingredients is water, um, the caprocarbonate, betaine, glycerin, satiro alcohol, sweet almond oil, acetyl alcohol, satiro olive, isopropyl, micerate. It's got a lot of stuff, okay? Um, it has shea butter, argan kernel oil, marula seed oil, manuka honey. It has fragrance, um, vitamin E, rosehip oil, hydrolyzed marine collagen, squalane, cassia, angustifolia seed, hydrolyzed hibiscus extract, and coenzyme Q10. So I don't like that it has a bunch of different alcohols in it. It also has fragrance. Um, at the very least, the fragrance is kind of in the middle to end of the list. Um, but other than that, like it has everything else is really good. And I got this as a gift from my friend for my birthday as one of my gifts um but yeah and then it's a product from new zealand and it says gently apply by lightly tapping a small amount around the eye area use morning and night so i've been using this about two weeks now um <clears throat> and so far i'm liking it you know okay so let's take it out of the box so we can show you I already uh, sprayed on toner and put my essence on, my essence serum thing. So this is what the tube looks like. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's from New Zealand, so that's kind of crazy. And it's not tested on animals. Um, it doesn't say that it's vegan. <clears throat> It's just not tested on animals. So when you remove the cap, right, and you're placing some on your finger, this is what it looks like. It's kind of like white, creamy looking, milky. But when you touch it, it's like watery. See, it goes clear. So it's not like the Innis uh, green, green Tea Icy Cream I reviewed. It's more kind of like, a, what's the other one called? The Pink Tube, the Vitamin E Eye Cream I was comparing it to. So at first I was worried that it wasn't going to be super hydrating. I thought it was, oh, it was from the Body Shop. I had the Body Shop Vitamin E Eye Cream. I thought it was going to be like that eye cream because it, it has kind of a similar consistency. This one feels nicer though. The Body Shop one literally felt like kind of like water. This one feels kind of like silky, like it's nice. I don't know how to describe it. But yeah, so I thought it wasn't going to be as hydrating because it felt watery. Uh, it reminded me of the Vitamin E eye cream. <laughs> but it's actually like the consistency and I guess the ingredients are really hydrating. So even though it's thin and liquidy feeling, it's extremely hydrating. So I'm gonna apply it now. Let's get closer and I go like this. I'm very lightly applying it um, to my eye skin. Your eye skin is very sensitive. But yeah, 
So it's super hydrating. I'm liking it so far. You get 0.53 ounces or 15 grams. Um, I'm not sure about the price, but I'll go look it up and put a picture in. And um, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, it doesn't pill up with other skincare. It doesn't mess up your makeup. Just of course, make sure you set your under eyes really well. Like I'm feeling you right now, it makes it feel so soft. Like I kind of want to apply this to my whole face, <laughs> but then I would run out of eye cream really fast. I like how big the tube is. Um, compared to the body shop, their eye cream tube is really small. So this is bigger and there's more. So I like that. Um, I like that it's a tube so you can put it out on your finger. You're not dipping it into a jar. You're not contaminating the whole thing. So that's really good. But yeah, I do think um, you do need to use skincare for a while to make a really good review. So I'm going to do an updated one later once it's been like a month or something and see if there's anything else I have to add. But so far, I think comparing it to the Innis, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Innis Green Tea Seed Eye Cream and the Body Shop Vitamin E Eye Cream, so far this one's my favorite. And I think those do have alcohols and fragrance in them too. Um, it does have a little bit of a scent to it, but it's not strong and it's not horrible. It's very like fresh smelling. So it didn't irritate my skin or anything, um, which is really good because I do have sensitive skin and I do have dry skin. So I really like how hydrating this is. Um, I don't think, I think it would still be okay on oily skin. It doesn't say that there's a skin preference if you have oily combo or dry. I think it's good for everyone because everyone's eye skin is a little bit more sensitive than your face and it needs a little bit more care and moisture. So yeah, those are my thoughts.